Hello everybody, welcome back. This will be my finale to finish 13 by Halloween. I really enjoyed this project. The first update I was able to finish four products and in the second update I was able to finish three. Let's find out how many I was able to finish this time around. Alright, so I've already finished the Bare Minerals SPF 15 foundation in medium beige. It was just a little jar. It was a powder foundation. It was nice, but I don't think it gave me the coverage I was looking for. Bath and Body Works hand soap in berry sangria. The scent was good. I love the foaming hand soaps from Bath and Body Works. The Alba Coconut Cream Lip Balm. That was that very, very soft lip balm. And you weren't able to roll it up past what you needed to use because I had to put it in a jar. The Ulta Super Shiny Lip Gloss and Poppy. I love the color. I love the way it felt. It wasn't sticky. It was moisturizing. Ulta still sells a shiny lip balm or lip gloss. It's in the color Rouge, so it's still red, but it doesn't have the glitter in it. And I just like that reflect. The Garnier Skin Active clearly brighter moisturizer I love that one it has my SPF in it and as a moisturizer so it's a two for one the band deodorant I really enjoyed that it kept me dry and fresh and it stayed clear you know when it dried it was still clear because I use you know the invisible solids but apparently I use too much to be invisible and then the Bath and Body Works coconut vanilla fragrance spray it was a smaller one two three ounces I really enjoyed the scent. The coconut and vanilla really meld, meld well together. So that left me with So that left me with 6 products to complete. And I was able to complete them all. So I'm very excited that I was able to finish this challenge from start to finish and finish all my products. I was using the Dr. Jart Water Fuse Multi Action Skincare and Makeup this is their BB Beauty Balm that had an SPF 25 in it. This wasn't a bad product. I don't think it's a product I need, but it did smooth into the skin. Okay. This product, it didn't leave me with a white cast. It absorbed well and I used it as a base underneath my makeup but I have no use really for something like this so I wouldn't repurchase I wouldn't purchase the full size of it then I finished the Basha white charcoal mattifying makeup setting spray it's okay it's not bad but it's not great this you must shake it up or you will get white particles from the charcoal the sprayer was okay it's not the best it wasn't the finest this is great for oily skin this is even better with a dewy foundation because it will set some of the dewiness to the foundation but if you're already using a matte foundation this will just make it more matte and if you have any dry areas that will enhance the dryness so this is for a very specific skin type and a very specific foundation from Neutrogena this was the Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel I was here last time so I made some really great progress to finish it all up I actually like the scent it's, it's a really fresh scent it's not a floral and it's not a citrus but I really enjoyed using this it didn't cause me to break out it didn't cause any it, it never caused me any trouble and this is supposed to boost hydration for soft supple skin I would use this in the morning before you know I put my face on for the day or started my day 
and then I started using it at night as well and it did help I used it with my cleansing brush at night I really enjoyed it I could see myself buying it in the future but I still have such an influx of cleansers that that won't happen right away from Caudalie this is their beauty elixir I only had a little bit left in the last update but I finished this this one is best for dry skin because it has oils in it and you can smell the peppermint and the eucalyptus if you are oily do not spray this as a setting spray or to refresh yourself because the oils will cause your makeup to start to break down which happened to me thankfully I was in the house you know I was trying a new look but this has oil in it I would use this at night before bed just for added boost of moisture I liked it like that but not enough to you know buy the full size type of thing but it was nice to try this product from skin co and roma this is their truffle therapy essential face toner and i was down here and i completely finished it i love this product this is my favorite this is one of my favorite toners it was soothing it didn't cause any irritation if you had a blemish it didn't aggravate the blemish this is a $27 foundation but I was able to finish it and I loved it and I would purchase it in the future and the last item I was able to finish is from Siete London this is their bamboo bronzer in Palm Island this is the lighter of the two shades in the bamboo bronzer the other one is South South Beach but I was able to finish it completely. I did have to repress it because my brush wasn't picking up the product where it needed to pick it up. So I repressed it and then that just, it zoomed through that because it was very fine and powdery after I had repressed it. So I could use it up. So I was able to use this in less than a week after I had repressed it. Because the last update, you know, I had most of the pan here, you know, a little bit gone. So I was trying to rotate, you know, to get powder like that. And then I, was, you know, worked it down. So then I had to be repressed. But I actually really enjoyed this. This is the light medium shade. There's one that's darker. So this isn't for contour for me. This is just to warm up the face. And it very much reminded me of Pixies subtly sun touched bronzer which i really enjoyed it took me like two years to use that up and this is not as dark as the elizabeth mott what's up beaches what up beaches or whatever it's called but i did enjoy this product i don't know that i would purchase full size but it was really nice to use. Alright you guys, so that was the finale to my Finish 13 by Halloween. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did Finish 13 by Halloween, I hope you had great progress on your challenge. So I want to thank you guys for viewing. If you enjoyed, please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to have you. And if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. I want you guys to be safe, be well, peace.